Hello everybody, Glitchrooper here. I'm back for another mob battle and, uh, well, uh, I've kind of got an interesting one here from, uh, the, uh, mod pack that I'm going to be playing, uh, Shadows of Thaumaturgy. And I don't just have Ice and Fire here, I also have Worm Roost, and I have found out that the uh, Royal Red is incredibly aggressive and impressive. So, yeah, I definitely want to show that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I've got some nice ice and fire uh, uh, foes for it to fight. That just kind of let off there, and yes, I'm still holding an umbrella. Okay, now this is Royal Red, and it, it, it's a big alpha predator type thing, and because of that whole click thing, um, I'm still having some issues with that. Uh, it, I think that's a baby ro uh, royal red there, and this thing is so aggressive, it doesn't want any of its own kind around. So it will just take them down. And very aggressively. Like, this one doesn't even know how to fight back, but the, the adult is just immensely powerful. And, uh, can just raise havoc. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, now I'll give it an actual opponent that can actually fight back. Lightning Dragon? Oh, come on, that was too small. Wouldn't be a higher stage. Where it's still gonna get blasted. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Holy roasting. Uh, annihilated? That looks more impressive. Hey, can you hit hit this one over here? Over here, over here, it, over here. I, I have a feeling it doesn't know where it's going. Nothing knows what it's doing because it's uh, having a pig. But uh, this ought to illustrate the point. They don't go away on peaceful. Uh, yeah, you get this big boss dragon of awesomeness, and it does not go away on peaceful. Okay, lightning dragon is using, is, uh, using its actual lightning. Well, this big alpha dragon beast is just going to town. It's so fast in its attacks, it just wiped out that uh, at least stage two lightning dragon. That was painful. And uh, might I add, they have 120 HP. That had 200. It just got annihilated. Uh, wow. Of course, since that thing's circling. Also, get rid of it that way. Because uh, sometimes they'll just keep attacking where they hit something before. It, it's kind of weird. But I've seen that kind of behavior in mobs before. This thing's circling, I'm trying to get a good height. Almost got it. One thing about this sword is it also brings them down. Literally, it just brings them physically down to the ground so you can take care of them. So that's one way to get rid of it. Yeah, I was just attacking this dragon corpse. Like, very aggressively attacking this dragon corpse that it had already defeated. I mean, that is just absurdly aggressive. But, I want to see even more. Uh, okay, that's a decently staged fire dragon. So we have fire versus fire. It should be a bit more even. So it should be. But they're attacking. It's retreating! It's a fire dragon is retreating. Oh, got smacked in the face. I saw that claw swipe. Oh, okay. I think it's close to last. Finally, kind of. 
just okay that one did win <laughs> so it showed who's the fire dragon here uh yeah I also remember the deep dragons also don't go away on peaceful however they're a little uh It does slow them down pretty well. Okay, so earning this weapon will be the best way to take down a lot of dragons. Oh, <laughs> it just slowly floats to the ground afterwards. It, did this giant ice thing just push that corpse into the ground? Uh... Okay, uh, <laughs> we just have this giant round shadow. Uh, didn't see that coming. Okay. Now I'm going to try to unleash Royal Red again, this time against an Ice Dragon. So let's see the classic matchup of Fire versus Ice. Get the twist. That one big enough? Oh yeah, that's the best quarterline stage. Seems when you get them this big, they can... Uh, take down the Royal Reds, but they take a lot of damage in the process. Oh, here comes that giant fire blast. And they're going into the sky here. It's become a classic sky battle. Oh, those ice bombs cannot track the uh, Royal Red fast enough. Oh, it throws it, it throws it. But it's still attacking. Oh, and it is down. Now I'm going to see if it's aggressive enough to uh, fight with some things that aren't other dragons. It might have some kind of near-universal dragon recognition or something like that. Note that ice dragons are immune to being frozen, but I do need to clear this one out. This does have a lot of attack power, so it's still a good way to do it. down. Swing. Oh, shot right past me. Here we go. Swing. Got that one down. Oh, dear. The dragon battle is putting so much destruction in this area. It's a good thing I'm not going to use this for, for my actual playthrough. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. So, let's see if a cyclops... Is able to be attacked by Royal Red. And vice versa. Oh, it, 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 it well, it might trigger. Because it will eventually start spewing fire everywhere and will probably make everything it hits very aggressive against it. Well, the Cyclops is trying. I think it's immune to grapples? It's just like staring at it because... Or maybe it's munching something else. What are you eating? Maybe he's just trying to eat in general? I, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing right now. Uh, okay, so apparently they're actually kind of chill. <laughs> of course, there are some things I can put near it, because this is an alpha dragon. Hey, want to fight this? Yeah, I got it. Now will the, uh... Will the Cyclops be able to even approach? He's like, ah, what's even happening? Looks like it's trying. Knows who hit it. Can you chomp? Oh, it, it, now it knows that the Cyclops is a target too, so it's not letting it do it. 
No, Royal Red is just thoroughly in control. <laughs> and on to just an absolute rampage. Oh, bombardment! We have a strafing run going here. This Cyclops is just not going to be able to take this for much longer. It's just getting completely roasted. That Royal Red isn't nearly full health. They have some variants. Okay, the end is attacking another Dragon Corpse again. Okay, you really are just that hilariously aggressive. You don't even recognize what an intact dragon is compared to a, a dead one. So, um, for that, I'm just gonna... Letting me hit you all with the other one there in the way. Uh, eventually. There we go. He calls it apex meat. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that should tell you how good that's going to be if you're going to uh, deal with those dragons. You may have, like, awe-inspiring food. Now, for the next one, however... I know these guys are also stupidly aggressive. So this will be, like, battle of the hilariously aggressive things. How big is that? Yeah, it's not the biggest sea serpent out there. I need a larger sea serpent. Or more than one. And again, this has been known to be pretty dangerous even without much else. So maybe I should clear those too. Unlike the dragons, uh, because you can't exactly tame sea serpents, they do go away on peaceful. Okay, just that one alone will be totally worth it, because that is massive. And it automatically recognizes it as a target. Oh, the, the sea serpent is uh, an area that it... Uh, is it's a it's a little out of the water. Uh, this could have been a little better in the ocean, but this is a super flat world. Okay, it did dive bomb it though. What about that bubble beam? Do you even do that when you're out of the water, or do you have to be it? Because I've seen them do a bubble beam before. Right now, it's swimming partially through the land. <laughs> okay, this 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 I needed a bigger lake. As powerful as uh, Royal Red is, I have a feeling it would not have mattered. It did hit it, though. It does do this big overhead dive bomb thing. So it did hit Royal Red. It's just not really faring that well. Even when it does have access to water, it's not really beam attacking it that much. I was trying to push it in. Okay, it's just saying, hey, you go into my area here and see how, how you feel. But then Royal Red's like, no, no, I'm not letting you get the home, home turf advantage. He just smacked it out. It's just maintaining the heat, literally. But Royal Red is just thoroughly in control. Oh, there goes a sea serpent. Uh, where's Royal? It's doing that thing again. Okay, it'll just loop here until I like, defeat it. So. I just have to clear this one out. Yeah, that was thoroughly ridiculous. Uh, okay.
Now, what about the Hydra? Will it recognize this thing as a big target? Because it would be able to beat it because it has fire. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they don't recognize each other. Well, if that's the problem, I can do this again. Okay, the Hydra is also very aggressive. Oh, I was hoping that, that it would spray the Hydra and then they'd attack each other. Got them to know each other with targets. And it does have that toxic spray of its own. Now we got a war going here. Of course, the Hydra is feeling the heat. Rather, I should specify the Greek Hydra, because this is uh, the uh, fire and ice version. It's about out, though. Lost its ability to regenerate with all that fire. Yeah, it was just roasted. Like, thoroughly. Yeah, it, it was just completely roasted. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh... Can't heal Hydra when it's gone, so... Uh, bye. <laughs> okay, other than, like, the classic dragons that were, like, the ice and fire dragons, uh, Royal Red has been thoroughly in control and insanely aggressive about things, so I expect a lot more from this dragon over time, too, so this could get really interesting. I think I've really found a good contender here. Royal Red from Worm Roost. I mean, seriously. Very powerful, very aggressive. Uh, can easily be lured into attacking things by putting uh, one of the things as its usual targets in the way. So, yeah, this this could be pretty workable. Thing is, the Mob Battles mod isn't in 1.16.4 now. It's actually in 1.16.5. Uh, so, I may have to do a different profile just for that, but... Just with this one, because I have some things that work to uh, get things enticed, then should be pretty much fine for doing mob battles here without having to worry about going profile crazy on ATL. Uh, that said, I'm still hoping one of these days that uh, Curse Forge fixes itself, whatever whatever's going on there. Anyhow, this has been a really good run, and I thoroughly had fun with this. Oh my gosh, Royal Red is truly a beast of a dragon. And I'm wondering, will there be a way for me to tame that dragon in the future? Because could you imagine actually having one of those for your own? <laughs> Yikes, that, that would be awesome. Anyhow, I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from you all later. Uh, bye for now, everybody. And remember, there will be more mob battles.